this is Lauren from Daisy Cottage Designs, and I'm here with a video tutorial for you today on the blanket that you see on the screen in front of you. This blanket, I think I'm gonna call it the Happy Hearts blanket, is one of my favorites that I've made this year. This blanket is easy to make and features easy stitches, but the finished look has such a fun texture because of those puff, puff stitches that line up like hearts going up and down the blanket. So I want to teach you how to make the puff stitches. I really think that's the only thing in this pattern that might be just a tiny bit tricky if you're a beginner, but everything else I promise is very straightforward. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to grab a J crochet hook, which is a size 10 hook or a six millimeter hook. And I always like to use my tulip hooks and some worsted weight yarn. I'm using Hobie's Cascada in the shade Angel, which is a really pretty variegated yarn, and it is a cotton acrylic blend. It has really a nice stitch definition, but you can see at the same time, it has some, I don't know if you want to call them flyaways or some fibers that come off from the tube that really gives it a very nice soft texture. So I really enjoyed working with this yarn. If you have to pull out large sections, it doesn't always pull out super easily, but it wasn't anything that stopped me from wanting to work with this yarn. Okay, so to start this project, you're going to want to start with a multiple of eight plus six. So for the blanket that I showed you, you would start with a multiple of 102, and that would give you the size that I showed. And I will put the size up in the corner because I don't remember the exact measurements right off the top of my head. But for the swatch that we're making today, I started with a chain of 22. And that's just because for the sake of time, I wanted to keep it shorter so that you could get on your way and crochet the actual blanket. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is chain your multiple of eight plus six. So for this, I chained 22. And for the full blanket that you saw, you're going to want to chain 102. But I will include other sizes in the final pattern. So be sure to check the link in the description down below if you want to make a different size. After you've made your starting chain, you're going to want to single crochet into the second stitch and in each stitch across. So since I started with a chain of 22, I ended up with 21 single crochets. So if you start with a chain of 102, you're going to end with 101 single crochets, which is what you'll need for the pattern to work out correctly. All right, so once you have your starting chain and you've single crocheted in the second chain and in each chain across, come back and we'll get started and I'll show you exactly how to make this blanket. Okay, so after you have your starting chain and you have single crocheted in the second chain and in each chain across, you're going to want to chain two and turn your work. And we're going to double crochet in the first five stitches. Don't skip the first stitch. Count that as your first of five. So here's one, two, three, four, and five. And now we're ready to make our first set of puff stitches. So we're gonna skip the next stitch and we're going to yarn over and insert our hook into the stitch after that. So skip the, skip the very next stitch and insert your hook into the stitch after that. So yarn over, insert your hook into the stitch and pull up a loop and pull it up just a little bit extra so you have a little bit of extra room and then yarn over and insert your hook into the same stitch and pull up a loop again and we're going to do that for a total of four times so that was two we're going to yarn over and insert our hook into the same stitch and pull up a loop again and then we have one more time so yarn over insert your hook into the same stitch and pull up a loop and pull it up loose. And you should have a total of nine loops on your hook. So here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And now you're going to yarn over. And I like to kind of go ahead and twist my hook all the way upside down. And you're gonna pull through just the first eight stitches. So you can see how this loop kind of I said stitches. You're going to pull through just the first eight loops and you can see how this loop kind of stays separated, which is nice because you're going to pull through these first eight loops 
and then you're going to leave this loop unworked. So go ahead and pull through those first eight loops and there are going to be two loops on your hook. Now yarn over and pull through the remaining two loops. So we just made our first puff, puff stitch. Now chain one and we're gonna do the same thing again. So we're gonna yarn over and insert our hook into the same stitch and pull up a loop. We're gonna do that for a total of four times. So here's two. Here's three. And here's four. Now we're gonna make sure we have nine loops on our hook. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine we do. So we'll yarn over and pull through the first eight loops. There should be two loops remaining on your hook. Yarn over and pull through both loops. And so we just made, we made five double crochet stitches. We skipped one stitch. We made a puff stitch, a chain one and a puff stitch, and the next stitch. Now we're going to skip the stitch after that and we'll double crochet into the next five stitches. So we're gonna skip the next stitch and then double crochet into the stitch after that. So that's one, two, three, four, and five. And now we're going to skip the next stitch and we'll make our puff stitches in the, into the stitch after that. So yarn over and skip the next stitch, but insert your hook into the next stitch and pull up a loop and go ahead and loosen it up a little bit. Yarn over, insert your hook into the same stitch and pull up a loop and loosen it up a little bit. That's two, we have to do a total of four. Yarn over, insert your hook into the same stitch and pull up a loop. That's three, we need one more. Yarn over, insert your hook into the same stitch and pull up a loop and that should be four, but let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Yep, that's, we need nine loops on our hook. We're gonna yarn over and pull through the first eight loops. There are two loops left on our hook, so yarn, o yarn over and pull through the remaining two loops. So that's our first puff stitch. Now we're gonna chain one, and we're gonna work our second puff stitch into the same stitch. So we'll yarn over, insert our hook into the same stitch, and pull up a loop and kind of loosen it up a little bit. Yarn over, insert your hook into the same stitch, and pull up a loop, that's two. Yarn over, insert your hook into the same stitch, and pull up a loop, that's three. Yarn over, insert your hook into the same stitch and pull up a loop and loosen it up a little bit, that's four. So we'll count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And then we'll yarn over and pull through the first eight loops and then yarn over and pull through the remaining two loops. So we just made our second set of puff stitches now we're going to skip the next stitch and double crochet in the last five stitches. So we skip the next stitch and work one double crochet in each of the last five stitches. So there's one, two, three, four, and five. Now, if you are not working the swatch, you'll keep working in sets of five double crochets, then you'll skip a stitch and work a puff stitch, your two puff stitches, and then you'll skip a stitch and work your five double crochets, then skip a stitch and work your puff stitch, your chain one and your puff stitch, then you'll skip a stitch and you'll work five double crochets. And you'll do that across until you end with five double crochets. All right, so this is what you should have after row one. Now we're going to chain two and turn our work and we're going to double crochet in the first five stitches. So here's one, two, three, four, 
and five. And after you work your five double crochets, you're going to work your puff stitches into the chain one space that is between the puff stitches. So we'll yarn over and insert our hook into this space that's between the puff stitches. And we'll pull up a loop and loosen it up a little bit. So that's our first. We have to do that four times. There's two, three, and four. Now you might want to make sure you have nine loops on your hook the first few times. So here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Yarn over and pull through the first eight loops. There are two loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through the remaining two loops. Now chain one and work your next puff stitch. So yarn over, insert your hook into the space and pull up a loop. Do that three more times. So here's one, two and three yarn over and pull through the first eight loops yarn over and pull through the remaining two loops so we just made our second set of puff stitches so now we're going to skip we're not going to work into the top of this puff, puff stitch so you're going to skip the next stitch and then you'll double crochet into the next five stitches so here's one two, three, four, and five. And now it's time to work our next puff stitches. So we're going to work into this space right here between the puffs. So yarn over and insert your hook into the space and pull up a loop. That's one. Yarn over, insert your hook into the space and pull up another loop. That's two. Yarn over, insert your hook into the space and pull up another loop. That's three. Yarn over and insert your hook into the same space and pull up a loop. That's four. If you want to double check, count your loops. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Yarn over and pull through the first eight stitches and yarn over and pull through the remaining two stitches. Those are not stitches, they're loops. Sorry, I keep doing that. Then chain one, and we'll work our last puff stitch. Yarn over and insert your hook into the same space and pull up a loop. Yarn over and insert your hook into the same space and pull up a loop. That's two. Yarn over, insert your hook into the same space and pull up a loop. That's three. We'll do it one more time. Yarn over, insert your hook into the same space and pull up a loop. That's four. Yarn over and pull through the first eight loops on your hook. And then yarn over and pull through the remaining two loops. And you should have something that looks about like this at this point. And now we're going to skip the top of the puff stitch and double crochet into the next five stitches. So here's one, two, three, four, and five. So at this point, you should have something that looks about like this. Um, the puff stitches are closer together until you work your next row. So you can see that you do have a space there, but it's more pronounced once you work your next set of puff stitches into that space. So they're kind of close together and then they open up a little bit to look more like a heart once you work your next row. So I hope this helps with any questions you might have about this Happy Hearts blanket. If you have any other questions, let me know. And if not, have a great day and happy crocheting.